A social worker? They have left for the day mass, but there's one on the fourth floor. Okay, they, what time do they leave? I have no idea what time they leave, but they had a meeting. Oh, I, I might like it so unusual. They, the, I, it's hard for me to get a hold of a social worker. Yeah, they, they had a meeting today at some campus somewhere away from here, so they had to leave. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but this has been happening years. That are they're gone. Supervisors, everyone's gone for six years. Yeah, I'm in a domestic violence crisis, and I um, the social worker was supposed to be calling me back, and they didn't want to start calling me back. Um, I have multiple different false arrests, and the guy stalking me and breaking into my phone. Yeah, and he holds controls the police department, so they're not doing proper investigation. What police department? All of them. Fort Worth, I was trying to get a protection order. The police came and made me leave. They interrupted me two times in Dallas trying to get a protection order, and then the location lied and said that they lost three. Yeah. Hmm. Well, see, the thing of it is that he's been able to make my phone malfunction. And in emergencies, I was getting threatened and my phone would malfunction where I couldn't place a call to the police department or to 911. And he's still hacking my phone and the police are denying law enforcement. I don't know how to combat the corrupt police. You're not convicted of what you're Combat the corrupt police. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I've been trying to get help from a social worker for years. It's been going on six plus years. Right now, there's a crime to keep me away from my kids. My daughter's 14. She witnessed a false arrest screaming at her at age eight. And there are crimes that are keeping me away from my child. And I try to go to legal aid and they deny assistance. And then I tried to pay an attorney and have been having difficulty paying one. And the court wouldn't appoint me an attorney, which is not against the family code. So now she's 14. That's how long it's been going on. Yeah, the halfway house wouldn't really help because, you know, there's no accountability for the police. I mean, the used to be that social workers would call and make sure the police departments are investigating crimes with domestic violence organizations. But I haven't been able to find one. If I want someone to do a, would do a little digging in, my, a digging in my background, they can see it's all kind of felony type stuff by the police department. Okay. So go to the mayor and tell them the police department's involved in my domestic abuse crisis. From there, yeah, you could do that. Or you could go to, uh, you know, just... I went to Kay Granger's and they're being dishonest with me. I have my phone's hacked. They told me that they wouldn't help and um, were basically rude. Mm, yeah, nice. I, but my phone's hacked. I've had an identity theft. And each time I'm trying to report it, the police have came to my provider. I have videos mm -hmm. where they came to my provider and forced me to leave. So I wouldn't report the crimes going on with my phone to my providers. It's been really out of control you know, and have to do it. I have big videos. Wow. And then the repetitively keep interrupting me, trying to get a protection order, absolutely no accountability. Now you said you have children also? Right. Uh, the youngest one is 14, and I'm not able to see her out of corruption. And it's precious years I can never get back. Yeah, that's true. But the so I've yet to find a social worker that does what they are supposed to do online and call and make sure the investigator, police are investigating reports and get involved. For six years, I'm, even though they're supposed to do it, I haven't found one that will, is, will, is willing to do it. So why won't they do their job and call the police department and advocate for me? No location period on the planet.
Safe Haven told lied and told me that they didn't offer legal. So they're one safe place. Uh -huh. I'm with you. No, that's true. I don't know what the truth is. Don't do you have the brochures? I, I'm reading on them right now. Oh, okay. Because you had brochures, a social worker took them back, and I didn't know. You have like a um, pamphlet? For violence. Domestic violence, yeah. So, what is the case management? So you, as a case manager of the hospital, you uh, manage uh, patients' illness, them and their illnesses? I mean, I ain't my part, but you know, just handling, finding resources and stuff like that. You don't have a person that spe is specializes in helping people flee domestic violence processes? No. There should be. I don't remember that. They, I was told that the hospitals offered it, but they stopped when I got in mine. Because there's a lot of women that come that are uh, beat up and different things to a hospital, and then mm -hmm. the caseworker helps them. But I haven't had that in six years that I've been trying to get help with one. They've all been covering for the police department. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you have, haven't you heard of caseworkers or social workers calling to make sure police are investigating reports? How do you find that person? Yeah, it's one I haven't had answered in six years. Well, I thought that the hospital networked you to them, to like actual people, and have them come when someone was in a crisis. Big things in the crisis. Well, it's, I would think that it's pretty serious if the police is involved in it. But you said you've been doing it for six years? Or right. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to get it to end and get accountability for them and listen civilians and schemes to violate my rights, which is felony charge. No one will help me. The police is enforcing that I don't get help, which is criminal. Now, have you tried a lawyer? Um, I haven't been able to get legal representation, but um, so where's the social workers though that have the programs? that have the programs and then have the information the ones that call the police department and make sure that they're not being criminals and not investigating crimes out of corruption that would be one of the social workers that run these uh, safe haven places or safe places one safe haven. oh well, were you able can we get someone on the phone because they're lying and saying that they don't do that everywhere i go let's see uh, so for six years <laughs> no offense but I just go to locations and they just let me sit in it. At churches, everywhere they just let me sit and do absolutely nothing. No, pretend like there's no way on the planet that they know of. No one has no any attorney friends. No referrals, nowhere, no names, everywhere I've went. You would think that by being social workers, they can network you with a live person, like a name. Like, I know this lady, she works um, so-and-so at this location, and then get them on the phone. But for six years, I've been deprived of that. No one knows anyone. It's frustrating. Yeah, it is frustrating, especially when you can't get a, a twenty report. You can report the crime to some official. Right, because the police are covering for it. And my daughter was eight, and she's now 14, and the games are still persisting. Um, the police have came and removed me. Is the restraining order different from a uh, protection order? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, the police keep coming to remove me in corruption to protect them. And then they used to come to locations to interrupt me and intimidate me. I was, I was even arrested and assaulted for attending a domestic violence support group. Now they hide behind the shadows and entice people not to help me. So they don't rack up the charges. They let the civilians rack up charges for them. Yeah. Let me send a 
a question out to all the social workers here in Houston. Okay. Went to hotels on their own and put me out of hotels that I paid my money for. Mm-hmm. They just wanted me to be in terror. And um, now they have the hotel scheme and you could have probably missed out too. So can you imagine being terrified for your life and you go to a hotel and the police are probably scheming with the hotel so you can't stay there? Terrified? Mm-hmm. So you can't even get a hotel room. So several different times I was at hospitals and police would come and force me to leave at hospitals. So I couldn't speak with social workers and find people with integrity. Yes, I have that recorded too. So no one will tell me about programs with attorneys or link me with any, used to be that places would place you in a safe environment in hiding and different things. I know a woman that experienced something like that. That's never been done for me. They've been telling me they were fools for six years. Like in the movies, they helped the woman go underground and change her name and all that. I've never seen it. <laughs> okay, for someone, don't they help them write letters? and help them find the location and just don't let them sit there in it and say we can't help. That's the problem that I've been experiencing. They're not help assisting you when it's their job. Well, I'm just not understanding why a whole social worker team all across the place don't have an actual name of a party that can help with integrity. I just think for the past, I'm not speaking of now, that the police are controlling my environments, which is criminal. So are they enlisting uh, probably by now hundreds of civilians, including churches, to blatantly lie to me about services, knowing full-blown well that no one would believe my story and keep me from escaping abuse that I've had to endure six years. So now no one has no name of any party that has integrity. It can't be done nowhere on the planet. So the, the whole, for six years, they want me to call a location that have hand hung up in my face multiple different times. No one has not, a name. That's what startles me. Where are the names? If you deal with locations often, why don't anyone have a name for six years? They, no one has a CPS worker with integrity. No one knows a police with integrity for six years. It just cannot be done. Cannot be found. Nowhere on the planet. So that leads me to believe that someone's doing something um, they shouldn't be. And that's a felony charge if the police department is abusing their power mm-hmm. and enlisting civilians to deprive me of help so I stay in abuse. That's a felony charge. Okay, I've called that and they play games, but they I can call games Well, that, that I probably wasn't calling the location. My phone's back. So, um, you mean the for the protection orders? I already spoke to no, Marvina. You've been asking questions like uh, you've got, you're asking me. Um, it, they won't tell me anything. So, if you don't mind, you can ask them. They don't think that I'm, you know, uh, worthy to get information. I'll try, I have that recorded too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah they keep sending me to a voicemail. I went down there one weather, was it something Weatherford Street? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the police came and interrupted me there. Oh. And then the lady that kept, they kept sending me to her voicemail, lied and said I was being disruptive and I didn't even see her that day. And they gave me a criminal trespass mm-hmm. on blatant lies, which is false reporting is criminal. But no one's racking up these felonies. So the DA is not going to help. They wouldn't help in Dallas either. They just keep forcing me. We can ask questions, but they just force me to speak with Marvina Robinson. He won't tell me anything. So I'm just trying to make sure I understand. So this is the case management for JPS Hospital. It's the outpatient case management. Okay, outpatient case management. Okay. And I'm just really confused why I just 
I don't understand why for six years I have people just did not have an answer and just let me sit in there. But the thing about it is why do I not have enough value to get advocacy and case management like other people? Why is everywhere I'm going on the planet telling me to go somewhere else and depriving me of assistance that other women would get to an abuse? Hey, it's hard if you don't have proof. I do. Yeah. yeah. But the problem of it is, is if I people aren't doing their job uh, responsibilities and their job tasks or leaving me in it as a conspiracy, which is a felony. They're blatantly lying to me and making me trying to make me to believe that there's nothing that needs to be done on the planet to help a woman flee abuse that the government's involved in and um, and just let me sit in it. No one wants to be an advocate. And I think that speaks a lot that if, you know, people just don't want let me sit in it and don't want to help because they don't want to get involved, even though it's the, even if the, it's their job task, because it's police committing crimes, that would make me scared. That we can't keep our police under control. That's for a woman, uh, uh, not sorry, not a woman, but as far as someone, a staff member here, they can't advocate. No one here does that. Okay. And your case management is only for people that are ill, that have illnesses. Okay. Well, the problem of it is, is I'm just not treated like other women that are trying to flee abuse. I don't get help. The, so the, the numbers are fruitless because all they're going to do is keep referring me to another location like they've been doing six years, being dishonest about services they offer and telling me it's out of their scope when they're recovering for crimes and depriving me that's a felony charge that people have yet to get so i mean i've got those numbers and i call them and they keep on hanging up in my face and covering for crimes and telling me they can't assist i'm going to give you my youtube channel so you can see a lot of this wow Women's Center, um, here's the problem. Every location I'm going to refer me to another medical location that will not help. No one has a name of someone that we can call and try to see. They keep on for six years referring me everywhere. Uh, they are not an actual person. I've already went to the women's center. Yeah, and what's happening is every place is referring me to another place, and they've been doing it six years, so I never get the services. So what I'm asking for is a name and to get someone here, because I believe if the police department is enlisted in abuse, that's serious, and I don't need to have to endure this another six years. Even shouldn't we have to endure it one more month? Who was that that said it's nothing that you guys can do? That's another social worker. Oh, what's her name? Cynthia. Cynthia, okay, because no one called me back. And another, another social worker has seen and kept the paperwork. I'm just trying to, I've had to endure this years. Social worker here kept the paperwork? Uh-huh, well, it was another location across the street. Okay. She had some um, brochures, and she kept them, and then there was a police there that had caused, uh, caused an issue with me trying to stay at a hotel that I had booked online. So I'm trying to incriminate people because I've had each location police have came to interrupt social workers in the past, and now they're enticing people to sabotage assistance so I don't flee abuse that they're enlisted, which is criminal. Mm 
you just can't abuse your badges and guns and tell civilians to rank up charges so all these powerful government officials don't see theirs. That's a crime, that's a felony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Start off with counseling and build a, a rapport with the counselor so that they know you and know more of you and what you do and stuff like that. And then they might be able to assist you from counseling. Uh, this is the way you see it from the counseling part. Then you can move into more of a guide you in the direction. Which okay, let me just, I'm just trying to make sure I have clarity because I've heard things like this here. Mm -hmm. So I have communicated with you and you communicated with other social workers that police have assaulted and arrested me with the attendant of the domestic violence support group, that my daughter witnessed my foster arrest screaming in terror at age eight, and she's now 14. These are the ideas that people have had given me years, and it's like it's being sabotaged. So your recommendation is for me to get therapy, counseling, and then kind of let them gradually say that my life is in jeopardy and I've been, been getting violated for years. Gradually tell them that. Well, not gradually so, tell them. If you have proof and stuff, once you build up the rapport with them, that would be off the top. Uh, it would be better then. Better well, then. no, what well, would be better if people got their charges? Because I don't foresee anything to change because all people do is just keep lying and being involved in the conspiracy, which is a felony charge, conspiracy to violate rights. If six years I've been trying to get social workers, the police department has came to interrupt and social workers have been dishonest with me and pretending like there's no way on the planet. They used to be really disrespectful. They would tell me to go to unemployment to get help, um, really, because they, they wanted to intentionally play in them to mind games. So they would tell me to go on outrageous places trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. No, but, you know, and I, they even tried to tell me to go to MHMR to get escape abuse that the government's behind. So what was your name? Mm -hmm. Okay. And she recommended that I get counseling. What do I do about the police? Well, you see, this, so, is, this is what I see, okay? okay. This is the thing. You're one person fighting against a complete system. So it's one against a million. Well, you're trying to convince somebody that these million people here are trying to you know, suppress you and get violation of your rights. That has to be proven. Well, I have a YouTube channel. What is the problem is that people are denying services and sabotaging my assistance, which is a felony. I keep repeatedly saying that. If I go to location after location and they scheme so they don't have to help me, a felony charge. Mm -hmm. This is um, the race. It, it makes me feel like a, a, I'm in the civil rights movement because no one's giving me any services, which is criminal. So each location I go, they tell me to go somewhere else like they used to do people back in the civil rights movement, black people back in the day. Well, we have rights now, but I still don't have mine. That's frustrating. So I've tried all of these, calling all the numbers. They scam and say it's out of their scope. Any kind of lie they can come up with to deprive me of assistance everywhere I go. And I'll give you the YouTube channel. I'm hoping that someone will intercept this. It's criminal. You got a YouTube, you have a YouTube yeah. No, I can't even get my calls properly. You guys said that you were going to call me back. You didn't, along with 95% of the I've called attorneys. They don't ever call me back. Mm -hmm. I call FBI's. They won't call me back. CIA. Yes. Wow. I call Kay Granger's. I don't really know if I was talking to her office because when I um, had communication through email, uh, email that I had uh, made on someone else's phone and cut my phones off, they said they were going to assign a case manager. And then when I called on my phone, she said that she could not assist. I think that the police department are commit committing crimes and enlisting civilians in their cover-up and to keep me from getting services to flee abuse that they're enlisted in. Abuse and power like that happens to be criminal, though and enlisting civilians in their conspiracy 
that's still a felony charge for the conspirators. Right. And they each part has a, uh, if they chose, and it is proven that they they chose to deprive him of services, whether it's for the police department or whoever they're doing it for, that's criminal in a conspiracy. Because they have foreknowledge that I was needing, was needing assistance to flee corrupt cr police officers, and they chose to conspire with cr crooked police. So that makes them conspirators, and people have yet to get their charges. We, I guess we've been talking like 30 something minutes. Um, so from this center, the only thing that you came up with as a social worker and get, um, addressing it with other social workers for, for me to get counseling for the trauma. Well, not just for the trauma, <clears throat> just to get someone on your side to be able to call someone that can advocate for you and be counseled for you. No, I can't get services anywhere. No one's interrupting it and blatantly lying to me everywhere I go. That's what they tell me to get counseling and knowing I can't get services. So that that's how I know my environments are controlled. You don't tell someone to go get counseling that has said that they were assaulted and arrested at domestic violence reportedly. And that child witnessed their foster brother screaming and terror at age eight and now they're 14. You don't recommend, I just want you to get therapy so these powerful people don't get the felonies they earn for themselves. Uh, it's not that they, it's like I said, you gotta take it step by step by step by step. Because I've been taking it step by step for six years, and I was, took it step by step that I went to uh, New Beginnings, and the, someone ran me off the road. I had uh, footage, mm -hmm. and I showed the police and the lady at um, New Beginnings. They, the police told the lady to give me an appointment a month away when I was terrified for my life and had just got ran off the road and showed them evidence of it. I recorded it. So then I uh, went, since they had set an appointment a month away, leaving me stuck in my crisis, yeah, I came to a support group. They lied and said I had a criminal trespass, which I did not have. Then assault and arrested me and hauled me off to jail for attending a domestic violence court. These are the people that everybody on the planet is covering for. Then at church, a church that I had been a member at decades, I asked for help there. I don't know who it was. Someone um, grabbed me. Um, pushed me, uh, pushed me out real fast. I fell and tripped. They pulled me out dang with my legs dangling on the ground, being drugged, threw me down on concrete hard. I, why is people? Why is everyone covering for them? That's even more uh, insane. If it's uh, you know, it's, I can understand corrupt people are going to be corrupt, but to entice civilians in your criminal activity. So people at that organization sat and watched a woman get. Uh, assaulted by a police officers for trying to flee abuse and no one did anything and it's six years later and people are still pretending like it's impossible to help someone flee abuse the police department's involved in and then in fact want to conspire with it uh, yeah and I know if people don't understand why I'm so dumbfounded I, I what bothers me is I don't understand why people aren't bothered by my experience and condone it and conspire with it so for six years, no one has knows about any organizations. Um, the lady um, at Safe Haven, um, she, we signed up for Me Too. I never had a response. I don't know. How, I don't. I don't know how to get them Me Too involved. No one knows about any organization. Nothing here on the planet. That they don't have friends that are attorneys. The no, no social workers. Period. By name, for six years. They just give me a list and tell them to call on my phone like the corrupt police are telling them, knowing I'll never get the services like I haven't received for six years, calling on my phone. So their solution is give give her more numbers and force her to call. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I think what I think Yeah, but you know, like I was saying, the problem of it is is getting people that don't refer me to the corrupt police and actually report people that are having conspired with crimes so they don't get the charges that they've racked up for themselves. That's what I'm trying to get something done. How do I get a, a law enforcement with integrity to give these people the charges that they've racked up finally to end this chaos? First off, the, the social workers aren't helping. They're committing felonies with the police department. 
and blatantly lying. Well, I went to um, I went to Safe Haven, and she threatened the police for me trying to get uh, accountability for the police department. She threatened security. Okay, so I went to the family place. They threatened security too when they couldn't answer why they weren't giving me services. Once they placed, they sabotaged services. Then police detained me on false pretenses. After that, took me uh, to a hospital. They waited till I was away from witnesses and had my phone off and one recording, and then hauled me off on slander. Mm. So um, once they place is scamming, so they're saying that I, it's out of their. They're telling these locations to say that it's out of their scope, so police don't get their charges. But they're blatant. They're actually. I don't. I don't know if they realize that they're actually part of conspiracy, which is a felony, because they're depriving me of services. So these police don't get their charges. And doing that in this conspiracy is criminal. Is it called World Health Organization? Um, what is World Health? It's a bunch of countries that get together and, and do policies and stuff for the. You know, for each country. World Health, H E A L T H. Yeah, World Health Organization. And they help women flee abuse. That's what they do. Human rights violation of women's human rights. I better not give you this. You killed me. <laughs> Oh, what? Give me what? You asked where they were located at? Yes. Well, that's I'm what I'm just sorry, well, I'm just wasting time because people, when the, the police were setting up for people to sabotage the system, and I'm just trying to build up a track record of what's happening, you know, with police corruption mm -hmm. and all of this, get counseling, go to World Health. So services are being sabotaged. That's a felony. People are being controlled. So that's just what I'm trying to establish. It's like the lady last time up the other list in, the police were actually there and she took back all the literature she had brought out for me. She staged an argument. That's what people like to do. The police department has all kinds of schemes to keep me from services. But I believe that they're I believe that this is a compromised environment for the recommendations that you guys have given me. But I'm just trying to build up enough evidence. I'll give you the YouTube channel. It's fruitless until these people get their charges. They're just going to keep yeah. you know, uh, breaking into my phone, oh. using my GPS, Thank and you. listening and fighting, sabotaging any ability I can on this planet to flee like they've been doing six years until they get yeah. their charges. That's the hardest thing to prove right there. Okay, it's K-E-Y. Stronger lawyers are fine people with integrity. That's the problem. It's a lot harder than people would think. People just sit, look, and do nothing. Putting their own selves at risk if people that are identity thieves are running the government. Because there's something that's keep enticing these police to come in and rub me reporting crimes on, on my phone to my provider. When you report things going on to your phone, do the police department come? When I report them? Things going on with your phone, issues with your phone. No. The police department come when I do. Oh, really? Yeah. You'll see all that on the channel. Wow. They, I was arrested and assaulted attending a domestic violence support group at New Beginnings, yes, in Garland. Went to jail for attending the support group and was assaulted by an officer. And people at the organization sat there witness and did a drug out of a church mm -hmm. and thrown on concrete. And people just sit in all my environments, look and do nothing. I don't think, I think that, you know, these, all these civilians choosing to be conspirators is part of the problem. Do something. But okay, if they want their government to control them, be ran by a government that enlists civilians to commit crimes so they don't get their felonies, that's, they just conspire with it then. I, I, I wouldn't want, I, I know that I wouldn't just, as a person I am, sit and do nothing with a woman going through my experience. I would try to help the best way I could. but I don't see that happening. So the health organization was the best one that's not here that you can come up with out of all this time. Well, maybe 40 minutes? Yeah. Nothing, Nothing. for six years. I don't know about six years. Well, no, I'm explaining that it yeah, happens for yeah, six, six years. years. <laughs> if it wasn't the assault and the police come in in person. 
Now I'm just trying to close that they're working behind the scenes now. Do you press charges against the police? No one has, they, they won't tell me anything. Everyone keeps lying about what my rights. I don't know what my rights are. And my phone is weird when I look up things on my phone. Yeah, the information is really limited. Who would you say is hacking your phone? This guy, I have a friend right now. She she said that something needs to be done because we were looking, I, I haven't really exposed a lot, but I looked up ministers. So then it was it was um, things on sex in there, um, someone twerking, but I'm looking up ministers on the ground twerking. It was actually kind of disgusting. I said, look at this. So I put in ministers, and it brought all this disgusting things up on my phone. Oh, no. It's been happening years. It used to be dead bodies, caskets. I, it was a video with someone getting cremated, a dead body, and they were getting cremated. And she said she she couldn't believe it. She says, my phone does not do that. This needs to end. Enough of the felony after felony unaddressed. The police are the ones that came and interrupted me at the provider. They're enforcing crimes. And civilians just be in, are enlisted with criminal activity with the police department and won't report them. They just sit and conspire and let the police commit crimes. So to, from what I have seen, it's like these police are gangsters. And why would police come and enlist the church and civilians to wreck up felonies? And they do it. I just I don't get it. I don't know what they're doing, but it's something right because people are conspiring with it. They're risking felony charges for the police department. Okay, so okay, so what what numbers do you have? Are these the locations? Yeah, that's, you adult child the abuse, probably, probably human trafficking. This is the page that you got on how to combat abuse that the police department has been enlisted in. I don't know about the police department being enlisted in this. That's how you know that they're hiding. You have. Well, I, I told you repeatedly that I was assaulted and arrested for attending the domestic violence support group. Who, when the abuser do that? Mm -hmm. And you said that they threw you on the ground and everything. At church, at church. At church, that's abuse. And then they enlisted the church to give me a criminal trespass to conspire for their crimes. Mm -hmm. Well, to cover up for the criminal activity of me being drug out the church. I don't right. think it was church members. I think that I was being stalked and whoever stalking me um, heard me begging the church for help and got angry and pulled, drug me out the church and then threw me outside on concrete. I think it's crooked government officials that have been stalking me, which has to be federal crimes that have been unaddressed for years. And it's, this needs to be the last year that this has ever, ha ever happens again. But okay, sir, I've experienced this year. You have a YouTube channel. No one could. It's a felony charge for someone to enlist all my locations. I was across the street and the police was there. Now, if they're enlisted civilians like I believe they're doing to deprive me of services, that's still a felony. But like I said, no one is scared. So this is it right here. No one here can help, period, on the planet. I don't think they can. Okay. Just will spin my wheels, spin my wheels, spin my wheels. Well, all I can do is just show what how many patterns you pull in the rest.